Welcome to the Ask Jordan Podcast, answering your questions about selling on Amazon. Now, the award-winning Amazon merchant and best-selling author from Long Island, New York, here's your host, Jordan Malik. Hello, Amazon sellers. I heard you missed me. I'm back. This is Jordan Malik. This is the Ask Jordan Podcast 66th episode. It is January 29th. I think our last episode was on January 2nd. So I apologize for not being around. Uh, I have been getting emails from you folks uh, asking, Jordan, what happened? Are you putting up more podcasts? And I am. There's been a lot going on uh, around the holidays, and I just really got backed up with a lot of things. As the business grows, I get busier. But I want to let you know that I really appreciate you, every listener, everyone who's listening. I think we've got uh, roughly 2,000 listeners per month on average, somewhere between as low as 1,200 to 2,000 of you are listening every episode. And I'm very, very thankful for the emails of support and the phone calls that come in. And thank you very much. And thanks for being patient. You know, doing this podcast, uh, I don't really make any money doing this, but I get so much uh, feedback that it's extremely helpful. And there's nothing that pleases me more when I help other people, uh, particularly those that are looking to leave their jobs or have a part-time income or get in a position someday to tell their employer to stick it. So uh, I am very, it's an honor to, to do this for you. And I really want to thank you for your patience. So it's just on the, you're, when you're listening to this, it's probably going to be February, early February 2015. And I had a bunch of birthdays to celebrate myself and my uh, in-laws and my wife. And I had Christmas. And we did a lot of product sourcing in stores, seasonal Christmas product sourcing after Christmas. And we've got a, a packaged, uh, uh, excuse me, a whole room packed with holiday merchandise. So I'll probably put a picture on my blog someday. Blog is Honest Online Selling. Also, want to thank all the international folks that listen to this. I know that my content has limited helpfulness for you if you're out, outside the U.S., uh, but the international folks that listen to it, I want to thank you for listening as well. And those of you who have submitted questions, I am getting to them one by one. I'm a good three months behind. Those of you who submitted questions of September, I'm, I'm just getting around to now. So thanks for your patience on that. A little bit of housekeeping. Some of you have called in with questions that have already been answered to some degree. So I'll rarely hit a topic twice in a podcast unless there's some new information. So if you don't want to go through the archive link at askjordan.net, there's a link to the archives there where you can view the current episodes there. Just do a Google search or, or search on iTunes where the, all the podcasts are posted in the um, podcast department on, on iTunes when you're in iTunes. Or go to YouTube, or just go to Google and type in what you're you're looking for. So, lo- getting a lot of questions about taxes, for instance, the Nexus tax, N E X U S, and I've already covered that topic. So, if you go to like Google and then type in Ask Jordan Podcast Nexus, N E X U S, you'll get a few links, to, a few different links, to the same exact podcast that I've already done on that uh, sales tax. I've had a few callers recently calling about say, how do I avoid paying sales tax on the merchandise I buy as a reseller. That's covered too. So before you, you call in with your question, it might already be answered for you. Now, if you've called in a question that I haven't answered that's directly related to selling on Amazon, you're thinking your gut tells you maybe I missed it, you can always send me an email. Go to jordanmalik.com slash email, jordanmalik.com slash email. You can fill out the form, send me the question. I'll do my best to answer it. And also my email address, my direct email address, I answer this one, jordanmalik at gmail.com. If you have a question directly related to Amazon, you think I've ignored you or something, which can happen. I've received so many phone calls and questions, and you, you feel like you've been slighted. I don't want to feel make you feel like you've been slighted. Email me. I'll do the best I can to answer your specific question. So uh, let's get on with it. This is the podcast. If you're listening to the first time, welcome, uh, where we only answer your questions about selling on Amazon. And every episode, we answer a different questions from you, the listener, about selling on Amazon. If you missed an episode, go to askjordan.net. All the episodes are listed there. There's a link to the archives, or you can go right to YouTube and type in Ask Jordan Podcast. We're on Stitcher and iTunes, of course. If you want to hear your voice on an episode and get seven of my best-selling eBooks, 100% free, I'm going to tell you how to do that after we answer today's question. Today's question is from Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Hi, Jordan. This is uh, Mike. I wanted to let you know that I listen to all of your podcasts. I appreciate the quality and the conciseness of the, the podcast, and I also appreciate the integrity in which you present it. I sold online for many years, but I recently started selling on Amazon about four months ago, and I've caught on pretty well and, and, and done pretty well with it. 
I want to maximize what I'm doing, however. And I've looked at and looked into the trade-in program that Amazon has, but I've never used it. And I'm wondering if you can give us some idea what your strategy or, or, or policies are in determining what you're going to send into the trade-in program or what you're going to sell. I understand that selling is the priority, and if you can do that, you always do that. But there seems to me there's got to be some benefit with the trade-in program, and I just need to know how to determine when I do that. So if you could answer that, I would appreciate it, and count on me continuing to listen to uh, Ask Jordan. Thanks. Mike, uh, that's a great question, and I'm sure many other sellers ha uh, are probably thinking about that. What Mike is referring to is if some products on Amazon, when you go to buy something or go to look at a product on Amazon, you'll see, uh, occasionally, you will see a link to the right of the product that says, sell us your item. Okay, so right now I'm looking at an Xbox game called Injustice, Gods Among Us, and it's a very popular, extremely popular video game uh, for the Xbox and it's twenty one ninety nine, and uh, they have a link on the right, a box that says, uh, sell us your item for up to a $6.30 gift card. So if you have this item used, this Xbox game, you have it used, you can probably sell it on Amazon for about $18 used. If you were not an Amazon seller and you're just somebody, some consumer that lives at home and you want to quickly get rid of it for some Amazon credit, meaning that Amazon would trade you a gift card that you can use instantly online for merchandise, you you can trade it in. And I, I haven't used it, but I'm pretty sure you just select the trade in button for whatever item you want to trade in that's on, on the screen. And they print you up an automatic form that you insert into an envelope with the item. And they print you up a prepaid shipping label, which you put it placed on the outside, and you can send it in. And then Amazon will give you $6.30 credit. Whether they do that credit instantly, I'm not sure. Again, I haven't used the trade-in program. And it's usually, the trade-in program doesn't usually apply to many categories except, I think, video games, electronics, some video games, some electronics, uh, some books, DVDs and CDs, and there's pro I'm probably missing a few other categories. Okay, so Mike, really as a seller, I don't think you'd have any interest in doing this because... Amazon is out, that they're a business. Their margins, their profit margins per product are already razor thin. So what Amazon is doing here is Amazon is encouraging consumers, not really sellers like us, but consumers to quickly unload some of their merchandise for Amazon credit. And what Amazon does with those items is, I don't know if you've ever seen some of the uh, sellers that sell an item used. So the name of the seller is called, Am I think it's called Amazon Warehouse Deals. That's actually a division of Amazon that takes some customer returns that are used, that, that turn out to be used, or these trade-ins that they solicit for, and they sell them for you know the going market prices. So Amazon could easily take this item that they've given you a $6.30 gift card for and easily sell it for $18, $19. And of course, they profit from that. And I don't blame them. I don't think that's a sleazy thing to do. I think they're, Amazon is in the business of, of making money, and there's a lot of merchandise that they get in either through trade-ins or returns that they resell as used, and um, it's a way to in increase the profit margins. Now, in, like I said earlier, I don't think much of this will help you as a seller in the in the focused sense of being a seller, a third-party seller on Amazon, because the prices are so low. Now, are there some things where a product is so hot that Amazon is willing to pay a premium? I think Amazon only pays in gift cards. I don't think they pay you cash. Are there some items that they may pay more to you that you'd earn more as a trade-in versus being a third-party seller of that item? Possibly. Those are some outliers that may happen every now and then, but I don't I don't see that as a sustainable business model. I'll bet you, Mike, that somebody will come up with some software or program someday, years from now, to you know, one, two, five, ten years from now, that will alert you to say, hey, you're selling this item, but Amazon's trade-in value right now is actually higher than what you would earn as a seller quickly sell this and quickly send this in the trade-in program. Now, I see those instances few and far between. Again, I only see the trade-in program as a way for Amazon to make money on unused merchandise that's turned in by the consumer. The consumer who doesn't want to bother with reselling it anywhere on Craigslist or Amazon or eBay. They're just looking to unload merchandise, and I'm sure they get a great volume of merchandise coming in. You can use that, that data as a business. You can, if the Amazon trade-in program becomes extremely popular, I don't know if it is extremely popular from the consumer standpoint, 
you say if it does, that's a position for you to go in. I'll pay you a dollar more for your video game than Amazon pays you. One business model I keep coming up with I haven't seen anybody do yet is video games. And I'm actually kind of working on uh, creating an information product around that. GameStop is the big entity where people bring their video games in to trade in. And GameStop will give them cash or store credit. But there's a, a, a big gap in there where you, as an Amazon third-party seller, could approach the prospective person who's ready to trade in their game. So by placing ads on Craigslist or what have you. And say, hey, don't trade your game in at GameStop. They're going to give you, for this specific title, they're going to give you $9.25. I'll give you a dollar more and pay you in cash. And then you, you go and pick up the video game and you sell it on Amazon and make a profit. So... That's a little more difficult. I'm making it a lot more simpler, a lot more simple than it actually is, but you get the idea. So, Mike, uh, look at I hope that answers your question. Mike gets all seven of my ebooks about selling on Amazon and eBay. Mike, just go to askjordan.net, click on the small envelope icon near the upper right hand corner of the page, send me an email so I know where to send your ebooks to. And if you, the listener, want to submit a question to the podcast and have a chance to win all my best selling ebooks, just like Mike. Call 516-619-ONLINE. That's 516-619-6654. It's an automated voice machine. You just leave leave your message there. Or go to AskJordan.net and scroll down. You can look for some directions on how to submit your question. If you've got a microphone attached to your computer, you can submit a question that way. Hey, thanks again for listening. This has been the Ask Jordan Podcast. Welcome back again, and we'll see you again in our next episode.